Welcome to Toyed Fishing. Grab a brew and join me as we look at the tensile test results for the Varel version of the GT knot. If you're unsure what the difference is between the Varel GT knot and the actual GT knot, please click right up here to watch that video first. I want to answer three big questions today. Number one, is a doubled up piece of braid in a uni knot stronger than a single piece of braid? Number two, which knot is stronger, doubled up over at clinch knot or a doubled up over at uni knot? And number three, how strong is the viral GT knot? Is it really 100% strong as some might say it is? Well, let's get stuck into episode 15 of the World's Strongest Fishing Knot, where we're aiming to test every single fishing knot there is to find out which is the strongest based on rigorous testing, a lot of line weights and a lot of line types. Question one, let's get some answers. Single or double braid mainline, what is the strongest? We'll need to look at tensile test data between a single piece of braid and a double piece of braid within a GT knot. The sample we used is 50 pound monofilament leader tied to 50 pound braid mainline. We compared 20 knot breaks to determine the stronger of the two. Okay, this is the results for the single piece of braid line. Well, that is just a little bit disappointing. 54.74%. It might be worth comparing the percentage to the uni knot when you have a free minute. Right, let's take a look at the strength for a doubled up piece of braid line. Oh my gosh, check this out. A massive improvement, 66.67%. That is remarkable and really does make an effort to guard the standing end as it's pulled out from the knot under extreme tension. Right, let's take a look at some test samples. Right, sample one, it's 100 pound mono to 100 pound mono using a single piece of line, no doubling up. It's actually a rather interesting break. The line actually mostly breaks in three sections when it fails. Basically, with all the line used in the knot cut out in an entirely separate piece. Right, second sample. This is a 100 pound braid to a 100 pound mono with a single piece of braid and eight wraps. As the load increases, you will see the back end of the knot take the brunt of the load. Not only is the standing end being constricted and cut up as it exits the knot, the last wrap actually passes over itself and the overlapping lines are cutting itself up. Guess the braid's gonna need a really big plaster here. Right, sample three. This is a 100 pound braid to a 100 pound mono, but this time with a doubled up piece of braid with eight wraps. You will see here, as the load increases, the back of the knot has now got a fighting chance as the standing end that draws out the knot only has half of its outer surface being rubbed and constricted by the last wraps. The inner face is butting up against the tag end. There's also this inbuilt cushion within the knot as we have a piece of line that's inside the knot and in fact loose and trimmed off when we originally tied the knot. All right, let's take a look at the test results and see how this knot behaved in three different line categories and seven different line thickness categories for each line type. Just a reminder, the wrap counts here are gospel. Normally when I tie the knot in our how-to videos, it's done prior to testing, and I have to make my best educated guess based on previous use and opinion at the time. Whereas for the world's strongest fishing knot, we only record results for knot breaks. Any knots that slip during testing, it's not recorded, and we add wraps until we can force a break rather than slippage. Results tables, let's start with monofilament. Remember to pause if you need more time to look at the individual line category. Just a reminder here also, for the monofilament category, we only used a single piece of line to tie the knot. Only in the two braid categories did we double up the braid line to try and help the braid.
creative monofilament where we doubled the braid line and had a single piece of leader line. Finally, braid to fluorocarbon, let's take a look. Again here, doubling the braid and the single line for the leader knot. Okay, the leaderboard, mono to mono, can this viral version of the GT knot actually perform? 56.7% jumping straight in just below middle ear, fourth place. This category is really proving to be the toughest of the bunch. Right, category two, braid to monofilament, let's check it out. 70.27% dropping into third place here, remarkable really, but not as impressive as the Albright managing to hold on to second place while only using a single piece of braid line. Finally, braid to fluorocarbon, let's check it out. 72.17%, again, a below par result, but an expected one. Let's see if we can get this little mini competition results confirmed yet. Let's answer question two, clinch knot versus uni, which is stronger? So we use the overwrap double braid clinch in the Slim Beauty and the double braid uni knot in the GT viral version. Well, the clinch knot flies here. Remember, this is an overall result comparing seven different line categories and 10 knot tests for each category. Guess the clinch knot really stood the test of time. Right, tips and tricks and answers today. Right, tip number one, so question three. The viral version of the GT knot, is it 100%? Well, far from it. 30 to 40% shy, in fact. Be mindful and cautious with knot information, especially when you see comments or statements like, the GT knot is 100% strong. At some point within the history or timeline of the GT knot, its path split and the actual knot went off in this direction and the viral version went off in this direction. And the knot changed design remarkably, but what did not change is the loose term of it's 100% strong. If someone does say this knot is 100% strong, be cautious, especially on a line-to-line -line connection. It's going to take a serious knot to achieve this strength, especially on braid fishing line. Right, tip two, the leader knot. Figure of eight knot with an additional turn. This knot is remarkable. There was not a hint of slipping either in the mono or the fluoro for this fishing knot. Incredible. Tip number three, doubling the braid line. Well, this is a no-brainer. Although the second piece of braid ultimately is not actually carrying a load as the top and the bottom tag was cut, it certainly acts as a cushion within the knot and also helps protect the one side of the standing end as it draws out the knot. Right, tip number four, cinching technique for braid, and particularly the double piece of braid. Once the knot is in this position where the braid is snug on the leader and the figure of eight knot is snug, follow these stages. Saliva on the leader knot, then bars on the leader standing end and tag end and cinch up. Then saliva on the braid knot and draw this against the leader knot by pulling the braid standing end and tag end and the leader line standing end. Use a pair of bars here. You will notice the braid tighten mainly at the top end. Then finally switch the one bar over from the leader line to the braid loop and tighten this. You'll see the uni knot flatten out. Also, just remember, unlike the clinch knot, the uni knot is based on an overhand knot. So the pressure of the outer wrap is exerted both at the top and the bottom of the knot, whereas the clinch knot is all at the top. 
Right, tip number five, braid overwrapping issues. I can see this being an issue for some, especially with two pieces of line, depending on the quality of the braid. You may find the bottom does not overwrap very easily. Firstly, keep the initial wrap spread out and not too tight. It actually gives the wraps more time to unwind at the bottom. And secondly, if that still does not work, you can draw the uni knot closed until the last wrap spins around at the top. Then pinch this detail and unwind and overwrap the inner wraps. The knot will end up very neat and uniform, although it does take a little bit more time. And finally, tip number six, make sure the uni knot is overwrapped and the knot looks like this. Telltale signs of this being done incorrectly is a single piece of line, almost in a linear line, heading fairly straight from the top to the bottom of the knot. Right, let's wrap this knot up. The viral version of the GT knot is in fact a figure of eight knot with an additional wrap in the leader line tied to the main line which uses a uni knob. Braid struggles in most line to line connections so doubling the braid line certainly helps this knot out tremendously. All the findings and results were based on 210 recorded data samples and about 150 test samples to establish a cinching technique and wrap counts for the various line thicknesses. This is typical of all our World's Strongest Fishing Line Testing Series. We use a lot of fishing line, which is all recycled, and our hope is that one day we'll have a definitive resource that people can refer to that saves them lost fish and also saves them fishing line, and maybe leaves less fishing line on the seabed, because the knots are stronger. Right, I hope you enjoyed that. Look, this is a good knot. It's slim and really quick to tie. It still serves me well as a quick line to line connection, but there are certainly easier and stronger knots. So that's the viral version. How will the actual version of the GT knot hold up? Hopefully we'll find out soon enough. Tight lines and thanks for your support. Cheers man, see you later. And that's a wrap. Well, I'm gonna pick all that up now.